It's another big story we're following right now on 12 News at 6. Tonight, Governor Ducey is in Taiwan, and U.S. Senator Mark Kelly and a Biden cabinet secretary are here in the Valley, all of them pushing to bring more high-tech jobs to Arizona. Team 12's Bram Resnick has more on their mission and what is behind it. Bram? Yeah, remember the supply chain shortage during the pandemic? There weren't enough computer chips to make cars, TVs, dishwashers. The response from Washington was make more chips here in the U.S. That's starting to happen, and Arizona is taking the lead. This tweet welcomed Governor Doug Ducey to Taiwan, the first stop on a five-day trip that ends in South Korea. The governor's goal? Solidifying Arizona's place as a major producer of microchips. They're the brains of TVs, refrigerators, laptops, your mobile phone, you name it. The world's largest supplier of microchips, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing, is putting down roots in North Phoenix with a $12 billion plant. The plant will have 2,000 employees when it opens next year. And it's also opening doors for Ducey in Asia to recruit more tech companies and jobs for Arizona. We have sort of been a hub for semiconductor manufacturing, and this is going to, you know, accelerate it by an order of magnitude. Here at home, U.S. Senator Mark Kelly was joined by U.S. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo at stops in Mesa and Tempe. They touted Congress's work to bring tech manufacturing jobs back to the U.S. with the new Chips and Science Act and the bipartisan infrastructure law. The infrastructure law getting credit for Corning Incorporated's announcement of a new Gilbert factory to make the optical fiber cable that connects the high-speed Internet. The facility will create 250 jobs when it opens in 2024. Corning partner AT&T announced the cable will be used to build out a high-speed fiber network in Mesa. In Phoenix, Bram Resnick, 12 News.